Alright, show my mocking. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Gadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. And there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who have taught us His truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And honors and citations to the elect document doing these works in sincerity and in truth. You know, so this is just an impromptu, you know, um, I was, uh, pretty much watching, it was, uh, uh, some carnal stuff, you know, some stuff for the world, pretty much, uh, um, Tekken, the 2019 Tekken tournament, you know, which is a fighting game, and, um, these dudes, they literally come from all different countries, you know, and they and they and they and they uh, uh, battle each other in in the game of Tekken, you know, which I play whatever, you know, and pretty much it's what inspired this lesson, like, like that's crazy, you know. I play the game or whatever. But they play it and they take it to another level. To where what? It's their life. Like, like it's pretty much their fucking life. Like, they damn near perfected it. And now they're going against other people that damn near perfected it as well. You know, they know, they know in every combo, every move, every everything is like second nature, man. I'm like, damn, that's crazy, yo. You know, I can never hang with them in Tekken, but guess what? They perfected their craft, which is what I'm gonna entitle this: uh, "Perfect Your Craft." You know, and I'm gonna get the scriptures as well. But uh, you can't really thinking about it, man. You can't be. It's really rare I guess to be like a jack of all trades you know you put your energy into one thing and you perfect that and that's how you become uh, uh, um, you know glorious in that light you know cause I'm looking at these dudes playing tech and like yo they're, they're like glorious in this video game, man. Because they're not on some jack-of-all-trade shit. This is where they're putting their energy into. This is where they're putting their time into. Well, I might as well get the scripture now. So, like, for the long intro. This is uh, Ecclesiastes or Sirach, chapter 38, verse 24. says, because this is what it's all about. As you can see where I'm headed. This is where we put all our energy to. This is where we perfect our craft. This is our craft. This is our craft and this is what we perfect. You know, this is where we look glorious. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmasha. This is where we shine. It says the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. Right? Leisure time, spare time. Okay? You got basketball players, football players, rappers, actors. And they all consider what? That we made it. We made it. They're, and, they're, and, they're, and they're glorious in their craft. Why? Because when time of leisure came, they put all their eggs into that basket. They wasn't trying to be no jack of all trades. Because when the opportunity of leisure came, right, the opportunity of spare time, all right, I got downtime. Should I do this? Should I do that? No. They know what they want to do. Jumping right on that Tekken, you know, going straight to that basketball court, going straight to that football field. It's like they're not even thinking about it. See, it says, and he that 
hath little business shall become wise. That's right. So even the more time you got. Even if the more time you got, the even better you can perfect it. So I'm, you know, of course, comparing it in the spirit. These guys at this Tekken tournament say they got the whole day off. They, they'll play Tekken all day. <laughs> they'll play that shit all day. They know what they want to do. But that's how we got to that's how we got to be in these scriptures, man. This is our craft. This is our craft. This is our lot. You know, this is where we shine. Well, let me get that scripture. I believe that that's Proverbs the 4th chapter. Yeah, Proverbs 4 and 18. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. And now the scriptures say what? Covet to what? Be a basketball player? Covet to be an athlete? Covet to be a rapper? Covet to be an actor? Nope. Well, let's get it. What do they say to covet to, 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 to be? 1 Corinthians 14 and 39. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy. And forbid not to speak with tongues. Okay. And I ain't talking about la 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 la. No. Let's talk. Well, let's get into it. Tongues from the Greek word here. It says the tongue, a member of the body, an organ of speech, a tongue. The language or dialect used by a particular people distinct from that of other nations. So it just means languages. You know, speaking in different languages. Alright. So covet to prophesy. This is the highest lot. You could you could probably Google right now what's the best top ten best jobs in the world. Oh, this job comes in ranking at number three, paying about you know a million dollars a week. This job is uh, ranking in where you can do this and do that. No, the highest and the best job you can have is that of a prophet. You know. So really, to hell with you know with with, with my example. To hell with these, nah, so like, not my example. To hell with these guys, in my example, that are, are glorious and shining in their lot, in their craft. You know, whether it be Tekken champion, whether it be uh, NBA two-time all-star. And they're glorious in it, are they not? It don't matter what it is. To you, you may say that ain't shit. That ain't shit to me. But there's still millions of people in that lot, and is and, and and they're at the top of it, and they're glorious in it. So how much more is your how about my shy? Well, that's you know starting off with our our big brother your how shy, okay. Who's it? Without you, I was shy, man. We'd be finished. And once you, I was shy, is glorified. You know, and 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 tear these nations, <laughs> tear these nations in the pieces. Guess what? Then he's gonna let us put in work. Well, the scriptures say we're joint is with with you, I was shy, man, because of you, how why you, I was shy is mercy, because the scriptures say. It is uh, 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 um, it's the most highest pleasure to give us the kingdom, cause he loves us, man. So this is Zephaniah three nineteen. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted, and gather her that was driven out. Right, cause we was driven out of our land, was we not? How do we get here to America? We was driven out of our land, which is not Africa. Our land is Israel. Says, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. See? So we're going to be given praise and fame in every land. 
All right. That's why you also got Isaiah four and one. Um, no, so look, actually, let me get Isaiah thirty-two and two. No, I want um. Was it just back there? I want fine gold. I want fine gold, man. Trying to make the man more precious and fine gold. Isaiah 13 and 12. And I will make a man, any type of man, no, a man of the Lord. Why? This is going into the covenant to prophesy. This is going into how being a prophet is the best job that you can have. It's the best reward. It comes with the best vacation time, which is all eternity. <laughs> you can't beat that. You know, it comes with the best pay. It comes with the best benefits. Yeah, well, what kind of job benefits does that have? Does that have dental? And man, this job comes with the best benefits. You know, it comes with the best co workers. Because all of us brothers are hopeful, like, are sincere. It comes with the best boss. You know, who's not a, 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 a tyrant, who's not greedy, not what, unrighteous to forget our works and labor of love. Come on, man. It's, 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 it's beautiful, bro. And we have to perfect our craft. You know, yeah, we may dip into other little stuff. You know, the scripture say much studying causes weariness of the flesh. So you may play a little game here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, watch a little, watch a movie here, of course. But at the end of the day, we gotta come back to our craft. You know, cause this is this is where we shine through the spirit and power of your Harold Bashim Al Shah. Says I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man in the golden wedge of Ophir. You know, now I'm watching this Tekken, this Tekken tournament. Dude said he got a girl, he got a girl because uh, he beat he beat the serious guy, and when he beat him, he did a little dance, and he got a number off of that. Because he's because he's looking like he's the man. <laughs> you know, because he's at the uh uh uh, uh he's he's being held glorious, man. So, how much more when 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 we start to shine through the spring party? How about Shmuel Shot? You know, this is this is, this is, man, man, oh man, bro, this is life we talking about. This is real life we talking about, man. This is real life, bro. Got that song, my life, my life, my life. You know, um, so lucky. Well, pretty much the script said it's a uh, light thing. Um, it's not a light thing for this is your life. You know, and I believe it, it was in Deuteronomy uh, thirty-two. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna end it off with this. Yep, uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 47. For it is not a vain thing for you, because it is your life. And through this thing you shall prolong your days in the land, whether you go over Jordan to possess it. So this is our lives we talking about, man. You know, you may be glorious in the game of basketball, and because of that you're getting millions and women and this and that. Maybe glorious here, but at the end of the day, when it comes to Jacob's trouble, your life is uh, 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 on the line. And will, will, will that will that basketball save you? Will football save you? Will being the Tekken world champion save you? No. All right, which is probably not a day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. So we we bless man, you know. Little one was edifying